If you have more than one worksheet in your workbook, as I do down below, you can see I have a total of five worksheets, and you want to find out what worksheet belongs to, in this case, what state, I'd have to click on it to remember, like there's Utah, there's New York. Better yet, let's go ahead and rename the worksheet tabs to those states, and you can do that by right-clicking on it and going to Rename. With it highlighted, just simply type over it, and then hit Enter when you're done, and it accepts it. Another way of doing it is just double-clicking on it really fast, and then with it highlighted, go ahead and type over it. And then you don't even have to hit Enter. You can just go ahead and go to the next worksheet, double-click on it. There you go. Now I can identify them. Not only can you rename them, but you can add color to them. So if you want to categorize them and say, okay, those that are in green, these worksheet tabs means that we're doing great in cells. Those in red, well, we're in the red. Not good. So to go ahead and give them color, just give it a right click, go to tab color. You have your theme colors that when you hover over one of them, gives you the name of it. This one's red accent to lighter 40%. Ooh, cool. Go ahead and select it. And then when you click off of it, you can actually see the color. The reason why you can't see it readily when you click on it is because that's the active worksheet, so it fades it to let you know, hey, this is the one you're currently working on. Then to go ahead and color the others, if you want to do it without right-clicking on each one, but let's say we want California and New York the same color, you can click on that one, hold down the control key, click on New York, and so you can see that since I have two or more selected, up here on the title bar it says I have a group. When I click off of those selections, it's no longer listed there. So let's come back down here, click on California, hold down the control key, select New York, right click, and we'll give it the color of bleh. And then I can go ahead and click off. Now it's in bold because I don't have them selected anymore. And better yet, you can also click on the first sheet tab if you want to select them in blocks, and then go down to the last one, like Arizona, hold down the shift key, click on it, and it selects everything in between. And then I can go ahead and right click and give them all a fun color, the same color of purple, and then click off. Now if you want to add additional worksheets, of course you have the plus button here, so whatever worksheet you have selected here, when you add a new sheet by clicking on it, it adds it next to it, to the right of it, there's sheet one, and in addition to that, instead of clicking on the plus button, you can also right click like on Utah, and go up to insert, and then the blank template selected by default, select it, and then go ahead and click okie dokie, and it adds it, and because it's in between the color range, it adds the color to it, so it's purple as well. And you've got the generic names, Sheet 2 and Sheet 1. Now, if you made a mistake, you're like, uh, I didn't mean to do that, then you can go ahead and right-click on it and delete it. And then if you want to reorder your worksheets, maybe you don't want Utah between California and New York, just go ahead and click on the tab, hold the left mouse button down until you can see that little icon sheet with your pointer there, and then go ahead and move it over. And notice that when I move it, you get this little black triangle pointing down. Wherever two worksheets you see it in between, when you let go, that's where it's going to dump it. So if I let it go right there between Arizona and Summary, it dumps it right there. You can do it that way, or you can right-click and go up to Move or Copy, because if you have a 100 worksheets, clicking and dragging may not be the best option. So you can see the title, Move or Copy. If you check the box Create a Copy, it'll create it, but we just want to move it for now. And so with the worksheet that I have selected, Utah, I want to move it before what sheet? Let's move it before, well, there it is, California. Works for me. Click okie dokie, and it puts it right before California. And, of course, copying your worksheets. So, for example, if I have a new state that we're making cells in, like North Dakota, instead of retyping everything here, I can go ahead and duplicate it, make a copy of the worksheet, and then just rename it from Utah to North Dakota. To do that, you can right-click on it, and go up to Move or Copy, select it, and then check create a copy, and then where do you want to create the copy before Utah? Sounds good. Click okie dokie. Gives me Utah too. I can just double click on it and type over it, ND for North Dakota, hit enter, and then up at the top, rename cell A1 North, hit enter, and then of course we'd update the numbers here to reflect the correct numbers for the cells in North Dakota. You can do it that way, or you can just go ahead and click on the worksheet, hold down the left mouse button, and you get that little icon there, when you hold down the control key, you get a plus in the middle of that little sheet, that little icon, that when you move it over to the right, where that black triangle is pointing down and let go of the mouse, hey, we got a copy of Utah 2 as well. Let me go ahead and right-click on that and delete it because I don't need it right now. 
Now this is within this workbook. What if we have another workbook that we want to be able to copy these over into or even move them for that matter? To do that, let me go ahead and right click on the Excel button down below for managing worksheets, the workbook, and bring up the jump list and go ahead and open up Excel 2016 again. And then up at the top, I got a generic name. Let's go ahead and click on the Save As and scroll up in the navigation pane. We want to select the desktop and give it maybe our European sales workbook. Click Save. And there we go. Let's go back to the original workbook. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and copy these over into that workbook so I don't have to recreate it. And then I can just go ahead and do what I do with North Dakota, update them for the countries in Europe, UK, France, and so on. So I can go ahead and select a range, like let me select North Dakota. And let's say we just want a total of four worksheets. Hold down the shift key and select all four. Then right click on the selected four, go up to move or copy. Now this workbook that I want to move them to has to be open because right here it says to what book? Well, not the current workbook, but to the European sales workbook. And in that workbook, I just have one sheet. And so I can either move it before that or just move it to the end after sheet one. And I can either move it or create copies of it. Let me uncheck it and say if I just want to move them, click okie dokie. And now I'm in the European sales workbook. And you can see we've got North Dakota, Utah, California, New York after sheet one. And then I can just go ahead and double click and type in France and then update that. And I don't have to recreate the column labels or row headings. And then back in the original worksheet, they're gone. So let me go back to the European and then click on the first one, hold down the shift key, click on the last one, right click, go to move or copy. And this time, instead of moving them back, I'd like to leave them here. So we'll go ahead and check create copy. And then instead of going to the European sales book, which is what we're currently in, click on the drop down arrow, go back to the managing worksheet workbook, and we'll move them just before the summary. And remember, it's a copy, click okie dokie. So back in the managing worksheet, automatically takes me there. And you can see we now have them back. Yay! And if you want, you can actually create a completely new workbook based upon the sheet or sheets you have selected down below just by right clicking on it, going up to move or copy again, and then this time click on the drop down arrow and say you want that in a new workbook. Well, let's not move it. Let's just create a copy of it and click okie dokie. Opens up a new workbook. It's over to the right hand side here. Let me go ahead and click on it to restore it. And there it is, North Dakota, a copy of it in book two. Let me go back to my original workbook, Managing Worksheets. You can see it up in the title bar there. I'm back. And down below, I only have like five worksheets, but let me show you another feature that I think you may find helpful. By coming over here, and you've got the horizontal scroll bar. You also have the three dots that when you hover over it, you get arrows pointing in opposite directions, that when you click and drag that over to the left, you can open this up more so you've got a longer scroll. But if I click and drag that more so it covers up the other worksheets here, good grief, how am I going to see them? The point being is that not only can you get a longer scroll bar, but let's say that instead of actually expanding it, you have 50 worksheets and it doesn't all fit all the way across before they get cut off. So to navigate around here, you can do it one of a few ways. You can click on the More button and be able to toggle through, or whether you go left or right by toggling, you can use the arrows as well. In fact, when you hover over it, you can see in the pop-up, control left click to scroll to the last sheet. So if I hold down the control key and left click, it goes right to the very last sheet. And then control right takes me to the very beginning. And of course, I can toggle through as well. And if you don't want to do that because you want to get to maybe sheet 55, then instead, as it says in the pop-up, right click and you get a list of all the sheets. So then you can go ahead through here, which is a lot easier than that little tiny window of two worksheets that you can see there. Go down to your worksheet if you haven't numbered, ooh, even better. So you can select 55 and then go ahead and we'll do New York. Click okie dokie. Takes me right to it. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos. And for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.